I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Risa's Moment in History, and I'm here at Central Middle School in Port Huron. Now in 1958, the Archdiocese of Detroit came to the realization that the St. Stephen's High School in Port Huron had become cost prohibitive to continue operating, so it was determined that a new building would be constructed and St. Stephen's would be phased out over the next four years. Port Huron Catholic High School opened September 12, 1961. The plan was to add one grade per year, which eventually phased out St. Stephen's High School. St. Stephen's High would hold their last graduation in 1964. The old St. Stephen's High would be sold to Port Huron Junior College and remains in operation as part of the college today. As time would pass though throughout the 1960s, enrollment in Port Huron Catholic shrunk severely. It was determined that in 1970 the school would be closed and the building would be sold. The Port Huron School District took interest in the building since enrollment at Port Huron High School had majorly increased. Even with the addition of Port Huron Northern in 1964, student enrollment had grown beyond expectations. It was determined that the old Port Huron Catholic would serve as an ideal third high school for the district. So a price of one and three quarter million dollars was agreed on between the Archdiocese and the Port Huron area schools. And a five million dollar bond was approved by voters for additional school improvements. In 1971, Port Huron Central opened its doors. The strange thing was is that older teachers by and large didn't apply for transfers. So the new school was staffed almost entirely with teachers fresh out of college. In the 1970s, enrollment in the district peaked at almost 16,000 pupils. Growing enrollment also led to the construction of a $2.4 million Holland Woods Intermediate School, which opened its doors in 1974 on Holland Avenue. By 1980, the situation had changed dramatically. Recession gripped Michigan, and the cash strapped school district closed Port Huron Central and moved to split shifts at Port Huron High and at Port Huron Northern. Conditions improved the next year though. As for the building, it was decided in 1982 that it would serve as Central Middle School, which it remains today. Today, Central is still the home of the Cougars and continues shaping young minds for tomorrow's future. For Moment in History Extra, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you that history lives in all of us.